Out of Monterey County, where we're told it could take a week to shore up a failed levee that flooded the community of Pajaro. Just about everyone in town has been ordered out. But our Devin Feely spoke with one homeowner who is standing his ground. Four days after the initial levee breach and resulting flooding, and the community of Pajaro remains a muddy mess. It is a community that is divided between people who have decided to hunker down and stay behind and those who have opted to leave. It's almost six feet deep to come all, all the way to here. Rigoberto Estrada says the rising floodwater seeped into his basement, leaving it sodden and muddy, but thankfully never reached the first floor where he lives. The water don't went all the, to the first floor of the house, but they went through the basement. That's why I'm still here pulling out the water with a small pump. For now, despite the pleas of his family, he's decided to stay. He has electricity, but no running water. He's lived in this house for 34 years and doesn't intend to abandon it or his animals right now. I have chickens, dogs, parakeets, and I cannot move with all the animals. I had to let it go and do the best they can. Plus, Rigoberto says the situation is getting marginally better. The floodwaters have receded a bit, although some roads still look more like a river than anything else. And crews are working nonstop to repair the levee that caused all the problems in the first place. He was in waist deep water. He walked over himself. He didn't need to be uh, rescued. Ruth Ruiz and her family left Pajaro in the dark Saturday morning. The floodwaters were rising and it was simply time to go. But four days later, she says she feels like she's still in the dark about when she can return and what recovery is going to look like. We don't really have a plan. We're just taking it day by day. And we have a feeling it's, it'll be months before even insurance can cover any damages. That's a big reason Rigoberto decided to stay. He started to clean up and dry out his home rather than let it sit in the mud and water. I feel better as I still in my house and I stay outside. I'm 70 years old and I do the, the best I can. The best thing I, I feel like I have to do is stay in my house. You might ask yourself, why would anyone decide to stay under these conditions? First, you can't measure someone's attachment to their home. And then you have to factor in the uncertainty of if you decide to leave, when you'll finally be allowed to return home. Now, according to Monterey County, they hope to close the remaining hole in the levee today. This morning, they had a 30-foot stretch to fill with boulders and rock. They estimate permanent repairs will take another two weeks.